Hello and welcome to the Sung's Garage podcast. Come and chill out with me and Sung as we talk about all of Sung's ongoing projects, specifically getting the Faguzi back on the road and its big reveal. We're available on all of your favourite podcast providers, as well as a video version on YouTube. Want to know more? Go to sungsgarage.com and peruse our many articles and updates. Enjoy. Okay, had a long weekend. I've been doing loads of DIY to the house. And uh, oh, yeah? it's, yeah, it's just tiring. <laughs> it's really tiring. Yeah. What have you been doing? We've got, so basically when we moved in, it was, it was a bit of a mess. So the old owners had a dog, but they, it, was a, it was a big Labrador and they kept it inside a lot. Um, the neighbours didn't even know they had a dog until they moved. And it was this huge Labrador. So the whole house was covered in, in hair and it smelled like dog. And they'd had quite a few leaks, so it was quite mouldy. So we very quickly pulled everything out and replaced things quite quickly just to get it in a livable condition. Um, and now we're kind of going back through it going, actually, this wasn't quite to our taste, so let's kind of redo it. So this, like, the office has been done and I'm really proud of it. It looks really nice um let me, nice. let me actually turn you around so i've got this this cool backdrop of like hexagons Ooh. on the wall which is really cool nice. Very so nice. we did that and it's just like you know we've, we're quite into like interior design and things like that and we we just wanted to make it ours so the new hard floor as well i fitted a carpet for the first time in the third bedroom my knees are now killing me <laughs> but yeah it's good fun it's good fun very good, very good. what have you been up to yeah. this week uh today was the a busy day today actually i okay i i, I talked to my friend rahel from mzr over your side um, yeah over at bradford we just talked a lot of z talk and then um that was early morning, and then I, I took Buddy, the Grand National, to Jer my friend Jeremy Oliver, over at Oliver and Son, to get all the, the air conditioner sorted. And, yep. and we just, you know, my Brendan and I, we, we my buddy, we, we, um, we try to get that window um, to, to, to sort out because there's some, for some reason, the window is, is not leveled um when we closed the door and uh, we tried okay. to get in there and i think i think somebody tried to break in the car and they broke something and, oh. uh, and there's some bracket broken so there's a kit that's available um that um you know we're gonna we're gonna get and try to you know replace but yeah. anyway jeremy is like the guru of grand national so i took it over there to ask him for some help and then um we are um and then what did i do and then i went <laughs> over to uh to uh chino to uh, wr technica where the you know, student driver space is and then yeah brendan and i hung out and talked about the whole king Kuro grand national build and then i came home and i was just like so i'm so tired this has been a long week yeah i don't even remember what i did to be honest with you i'm still editing the movie so yeah how's that going are, yeah, it's going good. It's good. You know, it's a long process. Like yeah. Building a car. Well, it's slowly coming together. Tomorrow, I have a post-production meeting with a company that's going to do the sound and the, um, okay. um, all the special effects and coloring. It's all in one facility. So yeah, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. So what's what's the uh, what's the timeline looking on that? Do you know? Have I any idea? Uh, I'm trying to finish. I'm trying to finish the whole kind of picture lock by end of October, and then okay, you know, by January the movie should be completely done and like wrapped up. So yeah, nice, nice. That yeah. sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah. Um. So I saw on your Instagram earlier in the week that you were doing a bit more on dark. Oh, yeah. uh, how's that going? Oh, great. So Wednesday I went in, and then um. So who came by in the morning? Um, ben from Dapper Lighting, my buddies who do um, LED headlight uh, headlight conversions and yeah, taillight nice. conversions for retro cars. Yeah. So they did they did the Fuguzi and then the uh, Ford Maverick underdog project and yeah. And what the issue in the past was was that 
people really love the original amber headlights that are stock, especially if you look at Figuzi pictures, you'll see that Larry Chen was one of the only photographers that shot the Figuzi mm. before the dapper lighting conversion. And um, everybody over at Gretti, Kenji included, really did not like the conversion because right. the LED makes it look like you know, it looks like an Asian girl wearing contact lenses. It's like, it's just like, it's not a horrible, but it's like something that doesn't feel natural, right? It's like, right. what is that? Anyway, um, and it's horrible when you, when you turn out, it's so white and it's, it's just awful in pictures, right? So, yeah. you know, yeah. if, if people are going to, you know, invest all their time and heart into building a 240, they're going to take a lot of pictures of it. So they do love yeah. that amber. So, Ben and I've been talking about this for a while and he created now, you know, um, different versions that will cater to that need where you want safety. So it's has an option where you can go super white with LED or you have an option where you can bring it down and it feels, and it looks more amber and it looks more factory or yeah, that's very you go cool. yellow like that, you know? Yeah, yeah that's like really I put cool. on the dock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he came by. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that on a car. Oh, that's anyway. so cool. Like, I've only really I've seen it on like kitchen lighting. <laughs> but that's really cool. What? Like, the, what, the, what? the ability to like change the temperature of the light. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's not temperature. It's just light bulbs. Like you yeah. know, high beam. You know. Oh, is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's actually different lights. Is it actually different bulbs? Yeah. 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 Oh, so, right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. so yeah, so essentially you could go normal white LED for safety at night. Yeah. But then you then you could do running lights just yellow, right? Yeah. And they yeah. could, it could go super yellow, or you could just go amber, you know, yeah. what I mean? so that you have a separate bulb for that. So nice. um that sounds yeah, so he's creating all of that. Yeah. And yeah. then um my buddies over at Dotson Garage that source all of the you know connective tissue for the you know the 240 uh yeah. S30 build, um, you know, like, you know, all the, all the, all the, like the seals and, you know, there's like, uh, there's seals for the, uh, uh, gaskets for the, uh, the headlights. So those are, yeah. you know, they're, you know, they're rubber, so they get old. And of course, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So my buddy, Jeff Baloney, uh, B-L-L-O-N-E over at Dotson Garage, he sources everything. So he found the original, Japanese spec tail lights. He found original um, Japanese fender mirrors, right? Wow. So, I mean, those are so hard to find. Yeah. So, um, um, all the gaskets, and you know, he sourced glass. Um, so it, he's been he's been great. So you know, we we were talking to him on Wednesday, and then we finally Garrick finally got all the suspension, um, you know, sorted out, and uh, we you know, put the, the wheels on for the first time. Oh, like was, that a, yeah. was that like a yeah. moment? Was there a tear was in your great. eye? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was nice. It was nice yeah. validation that, you know, that idea that homage to the 432 Kobe Seiko wheels that actually fits and it works, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. you know, so it's great. So we're going to put some Michelin. So my buddy, Michael Lewis over at Michelin um, is uh to come on board and i feel like michelin just it will just have like this you know retro look to it for some reason yeah. you know i feel yeah. like it'll be right are you gonna have tire lettering or is it just gonna be like a, a normal yeah i want to try the tire lettering yeah. i want to try that i love you know? the look of that i love the look of yeah. that i think it looks really cool and again it's got that like retro look hasn't it it's like an old nascar that's what it reminds me of like you know yeah. these they used to have that like, those really thick bulbous tires with the tire yeah. lettering it just looks cool like nice. the Hoosiers, right? Yeah, Video yeah. The Hoosiers. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I wanted to talk. We, Sorry, huh? go. What? Oh, no, and then can. one more one more thing. It's like Wednesday's like Mr. Rogers where a lot of people come and visit. And then Jason from NRG came over and brought some titanium uh, lug nuts. Right? Oh, so it's like, nice. Part, we thought we needed to you know, powder coat them, but they fit perfectly to the color. Yeah. It's like super light. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, that was kind of what we sorted out for that day. And then we you know, decided on the yellow headlights for the Doxy. And then I'll, I'll stick to the more uh, retro white ones for the Fuguzi. Mm. And then uh, mm. just getting ready for JCCS and SEMA. Yeah. 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 So when's JCCS? 
October 30th. October 30th. And tell me a bit about that, because I, I mean, I living in the UK, I haven't actually heard of that at all. But it's from what I've heard, it's it's pretty massive, right? It's pretty big. I mean, I've never been, but yeah. it's the Japanese classic car show, and it's usually held in Long Beach. And right. you know, this is where it's, it's the mecca for a lot of West Coast uh, JDM builders, and they come and they you know, share their stories and share their yeah. work and. You know, they hang out. Usually it's in Long Beach, but it's moved to Anaheim because, you know, okay. as things are opening up, you know, yeah, the, yeah. You know car shows are just so packed. So they want to mm. accommodate. So they're going to a bigger venue. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So the Doxy and the Faguzi will have its world premiere there. And then yeah. we'll be there with Gretty and then also Cato House, June the Mai. And then the three of us, the student driver, and Eric's racing will all be there and just kind of hang out. And then we'll, you know, we'll reveal the Doxy and the Fuguzi for the first time and just kind of celebrate. Yeah. And, yeah. and then um, on the weekend, uh, the next day, the, the Doxy will be transported to Vegas to see my, Yeah. So spend the weekend yeah. over there. Yeah. Is the Fuguzi going to? Or is it just Doxy? No. Just Doxy. Just the nice. Doxy, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So do, do you need to get tickets for JCCS or is it like a turn up kind of thing? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's not free, so yeah, I think yeah, like yeah. A, I'm I'm sure it's like a fifteen dollar cover charge, and then okay. and people who want to you know register their cars to show or yeah. you know, park their cars there. I think you can still do that. I have yeah. some friends who nice, who nice. So yeah. what I wanted to talk about was when you get a new car. You know, I I talked to you about these cars, and you've always got a really um, a defined idea and like a meaning behind each car. How do you come up with these ideas? So, you know, the Doc Z, you were saying that it was, you wanted the, it was almost like um, a, a fatherly mentorship kind of idea. What, how do you, you know, when you find a car, what, what's your thought process? Um, the why, you know, it's like once I have the why, I figure out the how to do yeah. it. Um, and, you know, a car is a long journey and it's like, there has to have a purpose behind it. Like, you know, for me, every car is a reason, an excuse to hang out. Like today, because of cars, because of a 240Z, I called my friend Rahel MZR, the, the premier, you know, 240Z, you know, S30 builder in the world, right? And yeah. because of that, because of our car, we're friends, you know, and because of a Grand National, you know, I'm hanging out with my friend Brendan today, you know, and my friend Jeremy Oliver talking Grand Nationals, yeah. hanging out. And so, um, you know, each car for me, it's like, it's like a chapter in my life where, you know, it represents there's, uh, you know, the blessing of time and it gives me opportunity to, you know, go, I would love to hang out with my friends, but, mm. you know, as you get older, it's harder. And so you have to have an excuse. So usually, this, the cars start with like the why and it's yeah. usually like hey i'd like to hang out with a couple of buddies or i'd love to hang out with kenji more and it'd be great to do you know Faguzi too like i want to learn yeah. something like new about the 240 that's why i hang out with you know eric and that's why we're creating mm -hmm. the doc right yeah, yeah. um that i want to hang out with my buddies will and daniel and and brendan and that's why we have you know the, you know the, the king curl project right Over, yeah you know, yeah student driver so so that's it and then you know because you know i'm a storyteller and i have an imagination and you know that's why i'm an actor and a yeah. director i mean you know cars have to be a character for me to mm. you know feel like i have a relationship with because then yeah. and that's part of the why you know yeah. it's like if it's just a bunch of you know plastic and metal you know there's it's hard to have so a connection yeah, that's why all the cars have names, and yeah, I want to know who owned it, where this, you know, where the origin of the cars, what the history is. And yeah, yeah. Kind of, you know, just using my imagination because I love history. Like, how did I become the caretaker of this car at this moment? You know? Yeah. And then, how can I redefine it or define it? Where, you know, if I create a story and a why behind it, and all of a sudden the car is known, right? Yeah. When I'm gone. The car becomes, you know, its own character and it'll live on. And then I'm mm. always connected to it. I hope Faguzi lives on for many, 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 many decades. 
after yeah. I'm gone. And it represents something. So people find the origin of the Doxy and the Fuguzi and the Maverick, Underdog, mm. whatever project, they'll actually realize that there are just excuses for me to hang out with people, right? <laughs> yes, and yeah. try to do something positive. So that's it. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's how it works. Yeah. Mm. I was looking at the Grand National and it looks, it looks, those cars just look so good in black. But I was thinking that would be an amazing Bond villain car. <laughs> like how intimidating do they look in the mirror <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's it would have to be a highly modified one because it's pretty slow <laughs> yeah yeah have you seen but the it does. have you seen the new james bond no is it out yeah so i think it came out this week um, oh no I'm, i gotta go watch it yeah i'm, I'm a, a huge, huge fan, fan of the yeah oh you, you're a huge fan huge. what do you think of because it was daniel craig's last film wasn't it and i'm i'm kind of sad about this because daniel craig I, I'm the um, I'm the age group where I kind of I grew up with Pierce Brosnan, but yeah. at that point I was too young to really be like a, a, a like an actual proper fan of the films. And then I really got in with the Daniel Craig stuff, which made me watch all of them. Um, I'm sad to see Daniel Craig leaving. He's been amazing. Yeah, I was like, like that with my generation was Roger Moore. You know, yeah. when he left, it was it was pretty sad. You know. Yeah, and, um, a lot of people felt like that was Sean Connery, but that's the beauty of 007. Is yeah, it has to change, you know. Yeah, he has, yeah. To, he has to be forever young. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Who would you uh, who would you like to see play Bond? Play Bond. I don't know. That's a that's a tough one. It's really hard. Yeah, so I mean, many, so yeah, so many people could be a Bond. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I hope it. I hope it's not a Bond because. You know they have to subscribe to like what's going on, right? Mm. It's like socially, I hope I hope they just find the best person, right? Because yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Because yeah, it's tough to be bond. Like who? I think you're just bored to be bond. You know, and yeah, they put on the tuxedo basically, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'd love to see you as like I'd love to see you. You'd be an amazing Bond villain. Evil Sun. Bond we villain. need more Evil Sun Kang. <laughs> <laughs> We do. It's yeah, like really, I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing Snakehead and seeing like the, that evil side. I think we need more of this. I think it's it'll it should happen. So yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch and, <laughs> and see what I can do. <laughs> cool. Put in a word. Yeah, I will do. I will do. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, for talking. I know you're tired. I won't keep you up for too long, but I really appreciate it. Um, have we got? Any, have you got anything else to um, to tell everyone? I think I think that's pretty much it on the uh, news front. Else? Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's much else. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to Grady and spending the whole, you know, afternoon and evening with Kenji uh, because you know, he's dropping. He, I think he's already dropped the motor in. Yeah. Um, on the week on Friday, so I got to get over there and um, you know, he has to. We have to take the uh, uh, the clear wrap off because um oh, it's getting okay. yellow right so yeah then it's gonna yeah, yeah before we is that on, is that on Fuguzi? The, yeah it's on for yeah yeah, yeah. So we'll do all of that so it'd be nice to hang out with that car for a while you know? yes yeah yeah, yeah. i, I kind of feel like that car's been um stored for a while and well not stored but like i, I think you need and to rest, be reacquainted hibernation. yeah exactly yeah. reacquainted it's, and, and get to know it again She's coming out strong, so she's gonna have like a big, big like you know, homecoming. So yeah, yeah. When's the first drive? When do you take it out for the first time? Well, I don't know. I think I think in about two weeks we should be ready. Okay. You know, okay. it might start up tomorrow, so might, yeah. might, might see oh, a I'm, video. I'm tomorrow. crossing fingers for you. I'm crossing everything. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, best of luck with all that. I hope it goes well. And all right, looking Alex. forward to hearing about it. Thank you. Cool. You have a good evening. Right. Go and get some sleep. All right. We'll talk next week. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. See All you right. Soon. Cheers.